Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Welcome to another Survivor Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew. We've got a live update tonight. I want to welcome everybody to December 12th, 2021, another Survivor Day on the Planet. And I hope you saw today's earlier video. We had some pretty strong winds heading through Ontario. We also had an extreme weather outbreak throughout the United States, affecting six states through southeast and the northeast. I'm hoping that everybody can hear me. I'm going to give a check in the comments section to make sure that y'all can hear me and the audio and visual is okay and we're not buffering or anything. Having a look here. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Violet. Hello, Peter. Hello, Melody. Hello, Linda Diaz. Welcome, Wendy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Skies Forever. Hello, Looking for Life on Earth. Hello, Mary Peel. Welcome, everybody, to this live stream. This is a live update. I've been talking about it for a while, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten to it. You all know what I've been going through, and it's been a lot. So uh, it takes a lot to do this, and, but here we are. Big update for you. As we did have six states affected by that tornado outbreak last night, and a record was broken. That's right. The longest traveling tornado in history. U United States history traveling over 250 kilometers through three states. And it's devastating. And my thoughts and prayers are going out to everybody that was affected by this tornado outbreak. Over a hundred, if not, there are hundreds expected to perish in this. And my heart during this time goes to everyone affected. It's going to take months to rebuild. It looks like a war zone. And I put out the warning three days ago, three, four days ago in the world weather update. And I said extreme weather. Watch for very extreme weather across southeast, moving through the northeast. And it happened. Unbelievable. And it was devastating. That's right. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Don't forget to smash that like button. I hope you're all enjoying the videos that I produce for you all, keeping you aware and prepared, keeping humanity safe. So please share this channel far and wide. And let's get up in, into the update here. We're going to start out looking at our sun as it is still pretty quiet, but large plasma filaments right here. We're going to be watching over the next little while through the northern hall. Hemisphere, looking at multi-spectrum, because there is not much, but you can really see the events, small c and e on the back side of the sun here as well. I'm going to take a moment and say hi to everybody. Welcome to the chat section, and don't forget to smash that like button and give a big thumbs up for all the mods in there as well. Thank you so much for all of your help in streams and as well the premieres. So yeah, not much to talk about. No CMEs directed our way, no earth-facing coronal holes either. So, but these plasma filaments, definitely going to be keeping an eye on those, making sure that they uh, stay in place. And give a quick look here at our KP index and solar X-ray flux remains low, still in minor B-class B range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Our solar wind speeds are only sitting at about 300 kilometers per second, which is still pretty low. Our Schumann resonance for today, a low power of eight. After all of the energies that were floating around the last few days. And then we have that dramatic event that happened last night and throughout the day today through Ontario. Very strong winds. If you haven't seen the video yet, please check it out. Trying to play disc golf in 70 kilometer winds. It was, it was crazy. But then I went down to Lake Erie and recorded the uh, the beachfront as well. And yeah, Schumann resonance for today was a power of 8, quality of 7.5. So that's right around where we want to be, right in this green. Also going to have a quick look 
at the two-day forecast, which is provided to you by MeteorEarth and as well DailyEventsWorldwide.com. And apparently, this site is going to be shutting down soon. So I'm going to need a new uh, five-day forecast or maybe a developer that can help me uh, get into forecasting just like this, creating your own little morning dew maps. But we're going to set this into motion now. And over the next 36 hours, the big concern is going to be this big storm heading into the west coast of BC. And then it's going to be moving. It's, it's going to be ushering a lot of moisture down into Washington and Oregon through the week. And then high pressure ridge building here is going to bring a lot of snow to higher elevations, California, as well as Montana. Thank you so much, Violet, for your donation, your super chat of $5. Much love. Thank you. Appreciate the support to the channel. We're going to head on over here to home base where we had very strong winds heading through here today. They're running in at 36 kilometers an hour now, but they're still gusting pretty good. And that big system is just going to quickly usher its way into the Atlantic provinces and then join forces with another system heading into Iceland. If you want the full five day forecast, please check out two nights ago's video. This is only a 24 hour forecast. It looks like it's not the same one provided on my app. So overlooking Europe, we do have that same low in the Mediterranean through Italy. It will be slowly moving its way through Greece and then into Turkey. Cold temperatures funneling into eastern parts of Europe as a huge high pressure ridge here is hanging out beside the polar vortex over Russia. Pretty strong or pretty extreme cold temperatures really starting to unfold here in Russia, which is to be expected. But the jet streams and the intensity of the systems are what really concerning me and as well, just the way these systems are moving straight north. Looking in the Pacific here, this was the low pressure system that headed through Hawaii a few days ago, and it headed straight north to join with another low pressure system east of Japan. But lots of snow falling through Kamchatka and as well China. North and South Korea. Moving on through Australia and parts of Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains, but it's going to be really heavy at times here through parts of Indonesia. And as well, a possible tropical system here developing from the Philippines for the long range forecast. Again, stay tuned for tomorrow's update give you a full five-day forecast. Australia over the next 24 hours, not too much to talk about. And most of the extreme weather has now left uh, North America after that system moved through, and it was massive. Just look at the satellite imagery here. I'll get it a bit bigger, fill up the screen. So you can see, this was uh, the last 72 hours, I think. No, it could be just 48 hours. Yeah, so this is last night. The long line stretched right out of Texas and then ran through one, two, three, four states, but affected six states as it quickly, quickly moved northeast. And even the local disc golf park, Mohawk Park, was affected. There were toppled trees, old trees, of course, dead trees are falling over out of nowhere. Just insane weather, guys. Insane weather. So I did things a little bit backwards today. Now we're going to have a quick look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours around the world. We put the magnitude on here. Kind of using the live stream setup. I hope you guys are enjoying this um, live update. 
Yeah, it's a live update, live daily do update, but not quite the full five day forecast. Thank you so much, Tanya Smith, for your $10 super chat. I really appreciate the support to the channel. And thank you so much for the love and support, the friendship that you guys have all provided and the community that has been created in the live streams and with Morning Dew. I, I thank you all so much. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be here without you. You are my strength. So let's move on through the world here. Largest earthquake today, 5.7. Looks like Banda Sea, just the northeast of Luatolo Volcano. As well, we've got a 4.5 here in the Antarctic Ridge, Indian Antarctic Ridge. Pretty deep earthquake here in Fiji Islands. Let's see how deep that is. That looks pretty deep. Dexterity kilometer, there we go. 588 kilometer depth. That's pretty deep. Definitely pretty deep. And then across the United States. Let's have a look at USGS because just recently we had another earthquake in Kansas. Gypsum, Kansas, reporting a 3.8 earthquake, 9 kilometer depth. And minor activity through the New Madrid here. Tennessee, Ridgely, 1.8. And as well, Oklahoma here, minor earthquakes, but there's regularly minor earthquakes there. No major swarms to talk about across the U.S. and no notable earthquakes. Oh, the notable earthquakes developing through Alaska, which is to be expected. Some pretty intense systems hanging about right there. Very deep lower level troughs. And so that is earthquakes for the last 24 hours. And again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected today in the United States. My heart goes out to you. It's unbelievable, unbelievable what happened. And I, I wish that more people would subscribe, share with their friends and family so that they can stay aware and prepared as well. Because I know that a lot of you had a heads up to this forecast. I was expecting this extreme weather. I forecasted it. I'm sure a lot of meteorologists did, but they didn't expect it to be this bad. I kind of did because I've been I've been predicting these extreme weather events to get more extreme as we go along here the next few years. And this is why a lot of plans that have been implemented across the world by our governments and by people like you and me who are concerned about our planet and the changes that we're going through. Right now, we still have sustained 50 kilometer winds out there, gusting up to 90 kilometers an hour. I'm sure there are still a lot of people who are cleaning up and looking for people, survivors. Prayers for everybody. Prayers for humanity. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. I'm going to quickly say hi to everybody in the comments section. There's 95 people in here watching. Thank you so much for tuning in to this live daily do update. I hope you enjoyed it. And not everybody gets to see the mug of the Daily Do, of, well, Micro Daily Do. Um, here I am. <laughs> no hair. And uh, I hopefully that, uh, and Melody just pointed out that I missed the chat from Peter Mine as well. Peter Mine, thank you so much. The super chat. Let me see. Sorry, I missed that, guys. Yeah, Peter Mine, 699 super chat. Thank you so much. I agree really appreciate your support to the channel and much love to you and your family during these holidays just gonna say hi to everybody quickly watch this hello angel angel webster hello sherry sherlock hello melody scammon hello maria lots of ladies in here tonight ladies night ladies night here we go hello you already know hello magnus Hello, Stan. Hello, Lucky. Hello, everybody. There's a lot of people in here right now. And much love to all of the moderators and as well all of the loyal supporters and viewers with this channel. Um, we've come a long way. We have really come a long way. And I have you guys to thank. Anybody who's out there sharing, you guys are responsible for this. That's what it takes. That's what YouTube loves to see is 
all the viewers hitting the like and the share. And the next thing you know, boom. Morning dues all over the world. So, much love to you, the viewer. Thank you so much for over 40,000 followers. And please stay safe out there, aware and prepared. And get your morning due, of course. So tomorrow we will get, have a full world update again. The Daily do will be uploaded. I wanted to give you guys um, the live update tonight. I wanted to send my thoughts, my prayers to all, all of my American friends who are being affected by these extreme weather events. This is December 12th, 2021, and we're breaking tornado records well after tornado season. So, I, uh, yeah, it affects me. It really affects me. I care about humanity. I care about our planet, and I see these things unfolding, and I want everybody to be as aware as I am to this. So, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed tonight's update. Tomorrow, we'll have our regular Daily Do update. Stay tuned. Around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning too. And, of course,